What's up guys and welcome back to a quick update of episode as far as a review for something I recently watched and this is going to be my review and recommendation for the Amazon Prime movie being the Ricardos. So I saw the promotions for it I want to say maybe a week or so ago around when it came out and I finally got around to watching it. So uh, overall I want to say that it is definitely worth a watch if you're a fan of documentaries, if you are a fan of um, I Love Lucy and wanted to get some of the background story and information about kind of the tumultuous um, behind the scenes stuff that went on with the show. So overall I want to say that the acting was very well done. As far as recreating the look and feel of those actors, um, Nicole Kidman as Lucille Ball was very well done. You could, she could almost pass for Lucille Ball in uh, various scenes. J.K. Simmons as William Foley and I forget the actress's name as Vivian Vance were also up there as far as good um, adaptations. The only one that was kind of on the downside and kind of strange was Javier Bardem as Desi Arnaz or Arnaz. Um, that one was kind of strange. It was kind of hard to picture him visually as Desi Arnaz, but um, sound wise, if you close your eyes and listen to his voice, he was very spot on. Very, it was um, that was all very well done. So um, that was good. On the flip side, Nicole Kidman's voice as Lucille Ball was not as good, but if you throughout the film, you can kind of get some of her affectations in the over the course of the documentary so that was kind of weird um jk simmons or the, the actor playing j um william frawley and vivian Wance were decent enough um i couldn't tell you really how well how they sounded outside of acting so um i'm kind of giving a pass there but overall uh, very well done um especially dealing with um or giving an overview on it, how Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz met, um, the creation of the show, how they dealt with um, the birth of, I want to say, Little Ricky and how they decided to make a story arc about that on the show and dealing with the producers, um, how Desi Arnaz was, or Lucille Ball saw Desi Arnaz's um, intelligence, but it was he was very un underappreciated. Uh, Lucille Ball is being passed over for what she wanted and was told to go to radio even though she had a great TV voice so all in all very good balance as far as showing all of that stuff in a two hour time frame and they spent and they dispersed every or sparsed everything out over those two hours very well so you don't get any or feel, felt like they didn't spend any more or less time on any event and they balanced each other out. They rounded out all of the various storylines so everything felt very well resolved um, to the point where by the end of it you feel like you have a good balance and even if you try to go back and um, try to think if one item was more or less than the other it's it's hard to kind of see how that how any aspect of the stuff they bring up was more or less than the other so i definitely recommend um giving the film a watch like i said it's streaming on amazon prime it's called being the ricardos and um you kind of get how and they even bring up to the point of by the end of the film about their divorce and how um desi had cheated on lucy and all of that and of course reading the trivia there's some liberties that they take but in general from what it looks like um a lot of stuff was covered and then their daughter lucy lucy jr i guess i don't know her um suffix but or prefix but um she says that a lot that her that um her mom was portrayed very well and even though um, javier bardem didn't look very much like her dad he sounded the part very well so all in all, very good acting. They show the stuff on the TV and they recreate a lot of different scenes from the TV show in black and white with the characters playing them. <clears throat> Notably, um, Nicole Kidman, Javier Bardem, and then J.K. Simmons and the lady playing Vivian Vance. So definitely worth a watch. Um, granted, some things are probably not, it's not, you know, 100% translation, but I want to say they're about 85 to 50 percent there so um 
I give the film about a good solid 90%, definitely worth a watch. They make a quick passing note about Vita Vita Vetterman, so all of that. And then we have a weird cameo with um, Clark Gregg in there, so like if you turn your head for a second, you'll hear his voice and then you'll wonder why he sounds familiar, and sure enough, there he is. So that's all there is for this review. Just wanted to get a quick take out there um, to give to definitely give it a watch if you are a Lucille Ball fan, Desi Arnaz fan, I Love Lucy, or, or just a fan of documentaries. So definitely one to watch um, as far as something that is currently streaming on Amazon Prime. So that's all there is for this review. So um, if you have your own um, feedback on this film or anything else I've reviewed or did you like or dislike this review, you can comment on this post on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for our subscription links, past episodes, and all that good stuff. And as a patron, you can uh, stay tuned for bonus content directly after this episode. But thanks for tuning in and until next time.